Hello, my name is Peter Hudson. I'm a professor at Penn State and I'm also Director of Conservation at Paws Trails. What I'm going to talk to you about today is high-speed flash photography. And we have to use this if we want to freeze the movement of animals because they're either moving very fast, such as a hummingbird or a bird in flight or a bat in flight, or because there is actually no light and the animal is also moving fast. And I really like taking photographs of bats, bats feeding at night, bats coming into plants, bats coming down to drink at uh, ponds. The setup I use is really quite straightforward, very elementary. Obviously, I've got a camera, I've got a 7200 lens on here, it's on a Sony A9. But I use, uh, I use a Godox flash system. I really like Godox, they're easy to set up, they're relatively cheap, and I'm using that with uh, a Godox flash, which is the V860 in this case. And I also really like this. So I often carry this with me in my bag. It's an AD200 Pro and it gives and it gives it's got a lot of battery life. It gives off a very good flash and I can use it to uh, to take photographs of almost anything when I'm carrying around. It's quite heavy, but it works really well in a softbox. Now the main piece of equipment is this. This is an infrared trigger made by a company called Cognosis. And this is the Sabre infrared trigger and it is fantastic. I've tried multiple, multiple different types of infrared um, triggers. This I find very robust, very easy to set up, and I can set it up in minutes or even in seconds when I'm in the forest. So it's a very good one to use. So the approach I take is I go out and I find a place where bats are coming to. If I'm not sure where that is, I'll sometimes put a hummingbird feeder out with some sugar solution. And if bats are in the vicinity, they will come in, and particularly nectivorous bats, they will come in and take, uh, and take slurps from it. And you'll sometimes just see it moving, or at other times you'll see the bats. As soon as I've got a place to take photographs, then I set it up. I set the infrared trigger either in the path of the flight path of the bats as they're coming in and out, or actually on the plant itself, so to try and get them actually feeding. Then that is connected to the camera, and when this crosses, when a bat goes across, it sets off the trigger. The trigger then says to the camera, this comes through the flash port to tell the flash to fly. The flash is a transmitter, and electronically it tells my flashes to come out. Now there is one trick and there is only one trick to doing high-speed photography and that is that you must reduce the power. So I have everything set up on manual. This is manual aperture, manual speed and that has to be at a 200th of a second so you set on that and of course ISO. ISO usually about a thousandth and depth of field usually about f11. But the speed to catch that is set by the power of the flash. And I set the power of the flash to about a sixteenth or a thirty second. When it's at a sixteenth, we're getting a speed of about sixteen thousandth of a second. And that's enough to capture the bat while it's in flight. So good luck, have a go. It's um, not too expensive, the equipment, but it's very rewarding. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.